Hi, this is Arthur Hall. I'm speaking with Dr. Andrew Wheatley, former Minister for Energy, Science and Technology. Doc, first thing first, why did you resign? Uh, you know, there were quite a bit of a noise out there as it relates to some um, issues surrounding um, an entity within the ministry, Petrojam. And we had asked for the Auditor General to look at the matter, give us an, an in-depth analysis as to the operations at the entity. And I thought it best to remove myself uh, from the ministry to uh, facilitate or more or less not to give the impression that there will be any form of ministerial interference in the investigation. Some people say your resignation is a sign that you screwed up at the ministry. So you resigned accepting that you did wrong? No, no. I, in fact, if you look at my track record, you will see that my performance at the ministry um, is second to none as it relates to the number of programs that we have been able to roll out, the achievements and the general impact on the society, especially young people. I can easily speak to uh, two programs, the Top 1000 program, which is right now the best program since the last 10 years that seeks to empower uh, young people, to prepare young people for the working world and ensure that they are abreast of what is needed in terms of technology in that marketplace. So, seeing with that issue, on Petrojam, the general manager resigned, the chairman resigned, mm -hmm. all these issues are under investigation, but these are people appointed under you. I, I you know, I, I'm not going to say that I, 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 I misspeak. First of all, the general manager was not picked by me. Right. The general manager was um, went through a process, the selection of general manager went through a process and he was vetted. He came highly recommended. In fact, he was working at, uh, running a facility in the United States, uh, over 350,000 barrels per day facility. So his experience as it is to running a refinery or operating within the environment of a refinery. The PMP has said that Petrodom is the mother of all scandals and what was happening at Petrodom or the Your Watch mm -hmm. was the mother of all scandals. Respond to your opposition. Well, let me tell you something. The, the PMP has no credibility when it comes to speaking to about corruption. It is sad that they have taken the road to try to politicize uh, the operations at Petrodom, but I'm sure that the Auditor General report will prove that the Minister he did not interfere in any shape or form in the operation of the entity. There is a structure that governs the entity from the level of the board to the level of the management team. And so uh, I, I await the outcome of the Auditor General's report to really shed more light, more clarity on the situation. I am not saying that the management may not have done anything outside of the, the accepted norm, but I, I await the AG's report and to lend more clarity.